three Ukrainians, you know, of my own, living in my own house. I've got a mum and, and a daughter and a, and a little baby who I absolutely, I love this little kid. She's, she was seven months when she came over. Um, and they were sleeping on an, on an airport floor in Poland. They left in a panic. They fled, they had no clothes, apart from the ones they were standing up in. They had one case full of baby clothes and that was it. So when they arrived, you know, they were still quite traumatized. And like when planes would go over the house, they're like worried because they think it's Russian bombs and stuff. Um, we've now moved them into a big flat in the middle of town, which I'm paying for, but happily paying for. Um, so because where I live is, you know, it's a big old house, but it's quite remote. So now they can just walk to the shops and mm. you know, restaurants and bars and take the baby to baby club and stuff. I mean, I know how difficult it is. I've got three people in this country. She's, in, in, in the time she's been here, which is seven or eight months, she's brought in over 300 Ukrainians. You know, she's an extraordinary woman. So she's coming up to Liverpool now. Um, and the artist is doing a big projection tonight on this massive wall in Liverpool docks of her, basically. So it's a tribute from the lottery, from me, from everybody, to her and, and the great work this girl's done.